Unfortunately, Alabama's got a dubious distinction when it comes to men killing women, number two in the entire country. And many of those deaths are the result of domestic violence. Verizon Wireless is trying to help build awareness about domestic violence. Jeremiah Knight's here from Verizon to tell us more. Jeremiah, thank you very much for being with us today. You're very welcome. And we were talking a little bit about the break, about uh, why you're passionate about this issue. Why is Verizon passionate about this issue? Why, why domestic violence? Well, one of the statistics that people may not be aware of, but 20% of all adults in the workplace experience domestic violence at some time. And so when you look at that, it not only takes it from the home, but where people work is also a big factor. And here's the key. If you look at the people that have, who work in, in, in the workplace, usually there is someone that knows what's going on or more than someone, so now you've affected two individuals mm. or possibly more. So it, it, it has more of a domino effect. There you go. So it's not only affecting the people at home, that are living with it, but it's affecting their colleagues at work as well. Exactly. Very infectious. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, well, tell us a little bit about Telling Amy's Story. What's that and what's going on with that? Uh, very excited about that. Telling Amy's Story is a PBS documentary that was actually produced um, some years back in cooperation with Verizon Wireless Foundation. And what Verizon Foundation did was that we actually uh, put together a document documentary that chronicled the life of Amy Holman McGee. And Amy was a victim of domestic violence that unfortunately it, it chronicled her life and her death because the situation really, and I can tell you a lot about the story because it isn't a good news story that ends, but Amy was actually killed tragically by a husband who was abusive to her over a number of years. In fact, uh, it, 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 it actually talks about how and what we need to be aware of. And maybe we can't change what happened to Amy, but the intent is making sure that we can maybe change what could happen to other victims. So the chronicles of what's happening there will help us to help people to identify, they take a look at what takes place, what things you should do and what you should not do in order to save your life. And telling Amy stories playing tonight right here in Tuscaloosa, correct? It is. It's going to be at the Ferguson Theater there on the campus of uh, <coughs> University of Alabama. It is free to all. We're going to be serving refreshments. There will be people from a Turning Point a Crisis Center and also from a Women's Resource Center there to be available to uh, answer any questions. The, the film is about 45 minutes long, and it will be something that I think that people who even if you don't experience domestic violence yourself, you can then be able to counsel and to walk someone else through the steps that they should take. All right, super. Jeremiah, thank you very much for being with us today. You can catch Telling Amy's Story tonight at the Ferguson Theater on the UA campus. The show starts at 7 o'clock. You can find out more about Verizon's work with domestic violence online at verizonfoundation.org.